Being the fat kid in gym class sucks because before anyone knows your name, everyone sees you and thinks, who's the fat kid? And you know how it goes in school. People who stick out usually get picked on. So when you're the fat kid in gym class, you stick out like a sore thumb. Tall kids, really skinny kids, and short kids all feel the same way. But this isn't about them right now. You're the outsider, kind of. When you're the fat kid in gym class, right off the bat, you know you are the outsider. And you will always be picked last in any sport that requires requires agility such as basketball and volleyball because unless you're some genetic freak of nature you are literally not built for those sports but you know damn right that if you're playing football you're getting picked first because we need someone who's big that can play offensive line and you only have two objectives one anyone who tries to stop you is a dead man two anyone with that football is a dead man so unless you're playing football you're the black sheep and since most gym classes usually only play basketball grab a seat on the benches and get ready to make friends with the other kids who don't want to play basketball too what's up really short kid and super skinny kid how's it going the pe exam anyone who fails gym class either cut this class so many times or is seriously out of shape to fail the PE exam. The PE exam, which stands for physical education exam, is where you are required to do bullshit exercises, such as climbing the rope. Yes, climbing the fucking rope. Unless I plan on being a firefighter or a US Navy SEAL, when am I ever going to need this fucking skill in real life? What am I, a soldier now? Because if I'm a soldier, then let it be known that I was drafted into this war and don't want to be here. But your gym teacher will give you a required PE exam, and the higher you climb the rope, the higher grade will be. And if you can't climb the rope, then you must endure some public embarrassment and hang on to that rope and look stupid for one minute to get that 65 passing grade. And the pull-up test is also pretty ridiculous because most adults can't even do a pull-up But in school this test is used to measure your physical fitness so adults can't do pull-ups But kids can that's a logic fail right there and for the push-up test That's just cruel and unusual punishment you are built like a tank and your two arms are supposed to move all that meat Yeah, okay You better hope that you have a really cool gym teacher because as long as those half rep push-ups kind of look like real push-ups Then you should be good and pass it's time Hiring. Gym class always starts off with warm-ups, and for some odd reason, some gym teachers love to watch you run endless laps and do never-ending burpees. For those who don't even know what burpees are, good. It's one of the most traumatizing things a human being can experience, especially to students. Once you start getting tired running around in never-ending laps, all you're thinking about is, fuck this shit. Because unless you're a marathon runner, no one likes to run. This is why people used horses back in the day, and now we have cars. And thanks to this gym class, you have to go to your next class all sweaty now. So when you're huffing and puffing so much because you can't breathe, don't feel too bad. Because all the smokers with terrible lungs will sympathize with you since they're huffing and puffing too. 